morning. Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Queen Blama Said It. And we are back, love bugs, for a quick little reaction. Okay, quick, quick, quick. We ain't gonna be here for long at all. But, you guys. So, if you know, you know. If you checked out my videos I uploaded yesterday, they were reactions of Eat With Q's Instagram uploads. Eat With Q, for some reason, is uploading the information to her Instagram first instead of putting it on her YouTube channel. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Not really a smart move if you ask me, but don't ask me, right? Because everybody told me I was wrong yesterday. <laughs> Can we get into it, y'all? Can we get into it, child? Thank you, E with Q, girl. Thank you for making that community post, girl. Thank you for telling the people that Queen Blimey said it and she was right, girl. When I said, E with you, is this your wedding, girl? This is a courthouse dirt road wedding. Like, this is not a traditional white wedding. I, but, okay, I guess because I'm not um, a Nigerian native, I have no clue what I'm talking about, y'all. No clue. They said, there are three ceremonies in Nigeria. Everybody does this in Nigeria. This is how they do it in Nigeria. And I said, child, that's not what's documented. I mean, you know, everybody can say, oh, that's how they do it. That's how they do it. But if you go and look it up, we like to look things up so you have proper receipts. Really, before you open your mouth. So, before I opened my mouth and called her wedding a courthouse dirt road wedding, of course, I would have looked the stuff up right first, y'all. Right? Right. Yeah. 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 I wasn't that eager to call it a courthouse dirt road wedding. I mean, come on now. I don't like to put my foot in my mouth. I don't eat pig's feet. I don't eat... um. None of that. Little cow's hoofs. I, I don't eat little chicken feet. I, I don't like to put feet in my mouth, okay? I don't like to have to go back on what I said. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you know, sometimes we're wrong. And I've been wrong. Like when I talked about the, um, the visa and the um, Nigerians being blocked. Like they were blocked and then... The new president came in and he uh, signed the executive order and lifted it. So, and I came back and said, you know, okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. So we wrong sometimes. But when I titled that video yesterday <laughs> and when I gave my lovely opinion on Eat With Q's courthouse dirt road wedding, I was exactly right. I was exactly right, you guys. Y'all got child. I understand that I haven't been reacting on Q long, so people like, oh, she new to the scene. She don't know what she talking about. She don't know what she talking about. But I have been doing reactions, you guys, for a couple years now. I just do my reactions on other women, other people. Eat with Q is just new to this channel. That's it, okay? So understand, we go and we look it up and we try to get our receipts before we open our mouth and give reaction videos, all right? So when I said Eat with Q had a courthouse dirt road wedding, I was exactly right, you guys. Thank you, Eat with Q. Thank you, girl. You told the people I was right, right? Okay, so if you look at her community post about three hours ago, it says... Hello, you guys, I'm so excited. I am so, so excited about having my wedding yesterday. I'm just saying, like, I'm just speaking off the top of my head, okay? So that's not exactly what it said, but this is exactly what it says, okay? I was so excited about my wedding yesterday, you guys. I was so, so excited. Mm -mm -mm. I was just so excited. And you guys... My first wedding in Nigeria was a court wedding. Yeah, it was a court wedding, yes. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. That Queen Blama said it, you know, that one that I hate, yeah. She was right. She said I had a courthouse dirt road wedding. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. That's exactly what I had, you guys. My second wedding will be my traditional African wedding, you guys. Mm-hmm. My dresses are almost done. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. Make sure you follow our couples channel, you guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm so excited to share my journey with you guys. So follow our couples channel, you guys. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh, okay, Q, girl, thank you for telling the people I was right when I, I called out the freaking courthouse shotgun wedding and even when i called it out they're like no that's not that's how it happens that's how it happens and i'm like okay well <laughs> we do understand that there's an online registry for marriage we do understand that you have to fill out paperwork for a marriage but when you fill the paperwork out for marriage and you sign those little papers and you get everything together you don't present the ring then If you're having a traditional white wedding in Nigeria and you're going to follow it up with the African wedding in Nigeria, you do not present the rings when you sign the registration paperwork. That's not when you present the rings. You don't present the wedding ring until the actual ceremony, unless your actual ceremony is at the courthouse. Duh. Duh. My gosh. Duh, diddy, duh, duh, duh. But then when I said that, nope, they came into the comment section and they told me I was wrong again. No, blah, mom, that's how they do it in Nigeria. And I said, hmm, okay, okay. Well, thanks for letting me know that information, all right? Thanks for letting me know. You have a wonderful day. And then I got up today and somebody said, girl, check Q community post, right? And I checked Q's community post and she said, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> my first wedding was a court wedding. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So your first wedding wasn't a traditional white wedding with the traditional things that they do in the U.S., right? Because that, right? I mean, come on, that's why they call it. They have a traditional white wedding, which is what Q is accustomed to because she's from the US. She likes to mukbang, moan, and burp everywhere, right? Yes, that's what we do over here. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then they have the Nigerian wedding, which is that culture. And that culture comes with multiple beautiful dresses. The family's dresses are made. They are decked out. It is just absolutely beautiful. But the American women have their traditional white weddings, which is beautiful also. Cues? <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> this girl... <laughs> Hecky no, hecky no. I said what I said. This girl, this little girl, mm -hmm, like I called that boy, a little boy, a little boy that cannot provide a proper wedding for his wife. That little boy that couldn't pay for his wife's teeth to get whitened, right? She had to pay for it, right? That little boy that couldn't pay for his own haircut, right? I said what I said. Okay, when I said that little boy, that's exactly what I meant. I didn't mean little boy as in, oh, he's a 17-year-old. I meant little boy as in he's mentally little as fuck. Bank account, little. Family wealth, little. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Fuck. I mean, come on now. Come on now. I said what I said. I meant what I said. That little boy over there blowing kisses with no shirt on and then grabbing his private part on camera. I said what I said. That little boy. I wasn't talking about the young man playing the saxophone. Everybody knew that wasn't Q's man. Child. Some of them. 
some of these people, some of these commenters, some of these viewers are slow. <laughs> they slow, like, they slow as they thought I was. They said, oh, blah, I don't even know what she talking about. <laughs> she don't even know what she talking about, court wet. And that's how they do it in Nigeria. Girl, you got to sign paperwork over here. Signing marriage paperwork is not something that the Nigerian culture only does. You have to do it over here, too. Oh, my goodness. I feel offended. I feel offended. They say she don't know what she talking about. Girl, bye. The hell? I don't have to know what I'm talking about to go to Google. Yeah, 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 uh huh, yeah, yeah, uh huh. I mean, <laughs> when they gave us Google and Siri, they gave us something, child. My Amazon even answered questions for me. I said, bitch, Amazon, is it motherfucking typical for Nigerians to have three ceremonies? Amazon said, no, <laughs> no, them bitches are lying. Don't listen to them bitches, Queen Blama. They just trying to make you feel wrong. They just want to be motherfucking seen. It's not motherfucking typical for Nigerians to have three motherfucking ceremonies, bitch. That's just called motherfucking registering for a goddamn wedding. Like, that's not the ceremony at the courthouse unless you want to have a motherfucking poor man's wedding at the courthouse. Which, understand, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with that because people like they they want to get married quick. People don't want to spend all that money. They don't want to waste the time. Whatever is clever. Some of them are only having their Nigerian weddings. So they got to do the paperwork. But Q, Miss a beautiful Q that loves to get done up. That loves to wear her wigs. That love to do her makeup. She loved to do all of this. She loves to get just absolutely beautiful. Why would she not have an absolutely beautiful, stunning, traditional white wedding? Why not? If you want to let go of that culture completely, and if you're saying fuck that traditional white wedding and all that, why did you have that? Um, <laughs> like somebody in the comment section said, I seen that white dress at Ross. <gasps> why did you have that little white dress on, sis? With them <laughs> somebody else in the comment section said, with them run over shoes on. And then somebody else in the comment section said, why the hell is she carrying that black purse? I said, child, I don't know. Don't ask me. Y'all, those wasn't, I, that wasn't my opinion. I ain't talk about the dress, the shoes, or the purse. It all came out the comment section. Okay? <laughs> you hear me? So, I said that too. I promise I said that too. I said, well, shit. Goddamn, Portia got all the money out here and she did not go to Nigeria. She kept her ass right there and they did their thing right there, traditionally white, and it was absolutely beautiful. And then she did her Nigerian thing, and it was absolutely gorgeous. Right there, right there, right there, okay? Child, we ain't going to talk about Portia's husband, child, because they said, he's a scammer, he's a scammer. I said, what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Don't tell me. Eat with Q and Portia out there getting scammed by, child, don't tell me they both being scammed at the same time. By Nigerians? What? They said this man wrote and created his entire bio. He made up the fact that he comes from 40 million or 400 million dollars. He don't come from nothing. He don't have no money. He just made all this up and created it all on his own. And then the person that put the tea out, you guys, contacted the website and created her own goddamn bio to say the same thing. What the fuck? She's a multimillionaire too. Do you hear me? We got, child. Let me contact that website and create me a goddamn bio too. We're gonna be out here rich than a motherfucker. Y'all don't understand. Goddamn Queen Blama said it. Her net worth is five hundred million. Okay? Five hundred million. 
Network. I said it. I'm going to stand on what I said. <laughs> oh, man. They said Portia and Q then got scammed. They then got scammed, scammed, did he scam, scammed. I didn't say it. I'm just repeating what I heard on the YouTube streets, child. I'm doing another reaction video. Do you hear me? I just mixed that reaction video into Q's because they both married Nigerians. And it come out at the same time. Like, Portia's man is ain't got no money. He's a whole scam artist. Portia then, then dang on, ran up and thought she didn't jump on the bag. And she is actually the bag. You hear me? <laughs> she didn't thought she got her a good bag. But they're saying Portia is actually the bag because he don't have nothing. Mm. Eat with you. Child child yes Portia got her own money exactly right just like Q got her own money <laughs> why when I tell you they are running up on these women they said oh my queen my queen my queen my queen girl if you got I don't understand I promise I was thinking about this yesterday y'all I said if you want to be called queen that damn much why didn't you just change the channel name to Eat With Queen Q? Oh my goodness, girl. Girl, everybody would call you queen. That's what they would call you. That's what they call me. Why? Because my channel name is Queen Blah My Sadie. So when they, they say something to me in the comment section or in the DM or anything, they say, good morning, queen. How are you? Hey, queen, what you think about this? Hey, hey, hey. And it's not because I wanted to be called a queen. It's just because I am a queen. So that's what the fuck I made the channel name. Okay. It's common sense. But Q, I'm just saying, if you craved to be called queen that bad, sis, all you had to do is change your channel name. I mean, half the people call you Queen Q anyway. So I'm not understanding how you let a Nigerian man love bomb you by calling you my queen, my queen, my queen, my queen. He said, oh, you're so pretty, my queen. Show them your ring. I said, what? She's so pretty, my queen. Show them your ring. Boy. Boy, that's why I said boy. She mad. He's not a boy. Boy. <laughs> boy. Let me see your scammer registry. Like, I know for a fact you took them scammers one-on-one -on -one classes provided by your Nigerian prophecist. And I want to see your certificate right now. Let me see your certificate. What's your registry number, mister? Because we know for a fact you didn't took them classes. You, you, That boy, he aced out of them bad boys weeks early. They said, boy, you're passing all your lessons, Goodwin. You're passing, uh oh, oh, you're going to get your such a pretty American Goodwin. He said, I know. I practice. My green, my green. Am I saying it right? Yes, you're saying it perfect, Goodwin. Here's your certificate. Go scam the bitches. Ah. Huh. That's how it went down? Is that how it went down, Q? <laughs> she said, he is not a little boy. Girl. <laughs> Girl, what, whatever. Whatever's clever, sis. Whatever is clever, sis. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm wondering if the little boy can read. For real, for real, because y'all was doing karaoke and you was on there caught up in the raptures of love. And he was looking very confused. Like he was so confused, you guys. And the elder lady, she was like, look at the video. Are you not looking at the video? And he kept looking and then he said something and then he looked again. He was so confused and Q just sitting there singing at the top of her goddamn lungs sounding like a complete idiot caught up in the raptures of love i said child ain't no goddamn way <laughs> ain't no way she would have been welcomed into my family acting like that girl and she was serious you guys 
Y'all, poor Q. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. His mom was pissed. <laughs> I cannot. I was like, what the heck? I promise Q is a, she's a slower. You hear me? Like a little child. I'm going to keep my comment to myself. If you don't, um, like I said, <laughs> I do reactions on other women. So, girl, if you don't know what the slower is and the sluck it is, <sighs> you'll find out one day, sis. Because I'm about to do some more reactions when I get done talking about Q. We're going to do some more reactions. And you'll find out what the slower is and what the sluck it is, girl. Because E with Q is a slower. Like, did y child, did y'all see that, child? Yes, the, uh, the elder was pissed. She banged on the table first, and then she was tapping his back like, what? You don't stop that. Like, uh, we don't do that type of affection out in the public. Like, Q literally tried to stick her whole tongue down that man's throat right in front of his family. Girl, that lady's hair was standing up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't. She's an embarrassment. Mm -mm. Heck no, that is funny. It's not going to end well. Marriages that start that quick and even quicker. Poor thing. Poor thing. Give me them damn papers. You hear me? That lady was sitting on the end of the table like, Hattie up inside. <laughs> I cannot, y'all. I promise. Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'm going to stop doing that accent, okay? <laughs> the lady was sitting at the end of the table like, hurry up and sign this shit so we could go ahead and fill out this visa paperwork and get it cracking. You hear me? The whole family. The family need. The family need, child. And then they need Q to get pregnant so they can bring the rest of the family over because we all know Q is, she's not capable. <laughs> Sis is incapable of taking care of anything. Like, do she cook? Y'all let me know. Does she cook? Sis, like y'all said, it's gonna end even quicker than it started because me, myself, and I, I do watch a lot of village videos. I watch a lot of Nigerian videos. Um, I watch a lot of travel vlogs. I watch a lot of women that started off in Nigeria. They came to the U.S. for years, and now they're back in Nigeria with their families. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to see Eat With Q wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and go outside and start that little big old cast pot and put the coal in it and, and go grab her little thing and, and cut her some wood and put it up under there and get it to boiling and start making that rice. And I want to see Eat With Q do all of this. I really do. Like, you hear me? And she going to be in Nigeria, girl. You might as well put out the Nigerian vlogs and actually try to adapt and take on their culture. Don't just be over there taking their penises. You hear me? Don't just go over there to inhale a Nigerian penis and to inhale some goddamn fish on foil, sis. You could get Nigerian penis and you can get fish on foil over here. So... <laughs> If you want to take the culture in, inhale that culture, take big gulps of the culture and swallow it and get it all inside of you, sis, good. I'm all here for it. I want to see it. Like, I want to see you vlog this stuff, girl. For real, for real. But if you just over there to look like an American slower, if you just over there to get some attention, because you want people to look at you, because you want people to call you my queen, my queen, you need to go fall off a bridge somewhere for real. Like, this is not it, sis. We're going to see, like, what her actual, um, child. What her actual plan is, y'all. I don't know. Um, yeah. According to her, what she put in her comment section a while ago, she's not planning on being in Nigeria. She planning on being in Nigeria through December and then she's planning on going to North America. Unless she's planning on traveling to North America alone without her current Nigerian husband, then she's going to Canada. 
because he can go from Nigeria to Canada pretty quick, like pretty quick. Um, but he can't come here that quick at all. It's going to be some years before he'll get approved for a visa and be able to come over here. Now, and that's with the lawyer and with the paperwork and all of that. It's going to be some years, you guys. Now, I don't know. Somebody put in the comment section that he tried to sneak into the U.S. a while ago. I don't think it was true, but I found it funny. <laughs> I found it pretty funny. That was like... He tried to sneak into the U.S. a while ago. He going to talk her dumb self into trying to do it again. And I'm just like, how exactly did he try to sneak into the U.S.? And then how do you even know? Like, did she really document this? I'm just so confused, y'all. I be confused with stuff they be putting in my comment section. It be hilarious sometimes. Like, what? So you telling me Eat With Q's current husband tried to girl i don't know i don't know to believe that i don't think i believe that you know anything is possible you feel me um he could have tried to get over here before and it didn't work so then think about it think about it y'all put two and two together he tried to get over here before it didn't work so then q received a wedding invitation Q received a special man to take her everywhere in Nigeria to show her around. A special man that has passed his scammers one-on-one -on -one lessons. Hmm. Y'all think that's what happened? I don't know, child. I just, I don't know. It's just very interesting that she received the wedding invitation from her best friend. And now she is messing with, they said, the best friend's bride's brother is what was put in my comment section. That Goodwin is the best friend's bride's brother. I, I didn't get it then. I kept reading that comment like, what? The best friend's bride? So are you saying the best friend was the bride? I was very confused. But I get it now, okay? Because the best friend is a man. He's a Nigerian, uh, a man who invited Q to Nigeria to the wedding. His bride, duh, is a woman. So her brother, okay, I get it. I get what they were saying in the comment section. That's what they're saying. That's where Goodwin came from. That is who Goodwin is. And so once they said that, I just try to put two and two together. Like, okay, so all of this sound arranged. Like, everything sounds arranged. You're not going to pay me to believe that Q had his best friend who has a wife whom has a brother that Q never communicated with this entire time. And then they just happened to invite Q to Nigeria to a random wedding that she never even been to before. Never, nothing, nothing, nothing. And she really boarded a plane, you guys. And it took a long flight. When I say a long flight, I mean a freaking long flight, you guys. Super freaking long. To go to Nigeria to some people that she don't even know at all whatsoever. Unless she was already communicating with this man. Now, I could be wrong. I definitely could be wrong. I've been wrong before. But. A woman like Q, uh, well, let me say a woman, period. A woman that is looking for love and that's seeking something is going to board that plane and go to Nigeria for a man quicker than for a random wedding. And I'm just, I'm really just saying. A woman that has gone from man to man to man looking for love. She's going to board that plane and go to Nigeria quicker for that man than she would for a ran just a wedding. And then my thoughts and my, my thoughts, my opinion is that Q boarded that plane going to Nigeria the first time 
already knowing Goodwin, already being in communication with him, which would answer why she said play tried to say that she was sleeping with a Nigerian man already. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's what she said. She said he tried to accuse me of sleeping with a Nigerian man. You don't know what I'm doing. Mm. Mm, really? Really, really? I don't know, y'all. I don't even know. So then that makes me question, like, what? Y'all, we going to do some more reactions. Because I looked through her channel. And she keeps saying, oh, I went from single to married in eight months. And I'm trying to figure out. How you went from single to married in eight months when you were happily promoting Play's personal channel seven months ago. Seven months ago. Look at her community post, y'all. Go over to Eat With Q channel and look in her community post. Seven months ago, she was happily promoting Play's videos. Then she went to Nigeria and she's all of a sudden in it, like we seen him in the videos with no shirt on. He was love bombing her the first time she was in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. My thoughts, my opinion, you guys, I don't know like <laughs> what exactly happened between her and play, but something happened. When she went to Nigeria, and I think that, like she said, he accused her of sleeping with a Nigerian man while she was there the first time. And then all of a sudden, he got a woman in her house and this and that, and it's just hell breaking loose. But if she's in Nigeria sleeping with men, it's not an excuse for him to bring women in her house, but come on now. Let's really think about that real quick. His woman then went to Nigeria and she's over there inhaling Nigerian dingling while he's sitting here at her house. Yeah, she said play was cheating before she went to Nigeria, but mm, child, mm. Child, the people tried to tell her about play, didn't they? They tried to tell her play was a scammer. He didn't want nothing but clouding her money, right? And she came and cursed everybody out, told everybody to, to, to do this and to do that. And, you know, so, yeah. Mm. Child, y'all cute. <laughs> I don't know. I wish her nothing but the best. I really do. I wish her nothing but the best. I wish her healing like, she really needs to heal, you guys. That woman is damaged, destroyed property of herself. You hear me? Like, she is damaged and destroyed. And it wasn't from play. A lot of people like to put in the comment section, oh, she's hurt from play. Play hurt her. Play hurt her. Y'all, she was damaged before play. And not to say damaged like shade toward her, but, you know, damaged mentally, emotionally, insecure, trying to figure out yourself. That was before play. Really, think about it. It was before him. And <laughs> y'all, mm. y'all. I, I bite my tongue sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I bite my tongue. Um, but I'm going to say it. Play didn't marry her for a reason. You feel me? And, they, you know, it's not easy to say something like that because she's a woman. I'm a woman. You know, child. It hurt to say that. Like, damn. But it's true. He didn't marry her for a reason. Well, Scott. Yes. Yeah, Scott. Did I say Play didn't? Scott. My bad, y'all. Scott, Scott didn't marry Q for a reason. He didn't marry her for a reason. Um, 
she oh man she got issues y'all that girl got issues is all i got to say and she didn't sit down and think about it you hear me she didn't sit down and think about it she didn't sit down and try to work it out she just continuously from one man to the next man to the next man to the next one just constantly it's literally a train track at this point and she's just connecting tracks Connecting to another one, connect to another one, connect to another one, child. She drove a long freaking time to connect to this whole Nigerian one. Like, child, girl, that's crazy. And I knew it was a man before play. I mean, I keep saying play before Scott, but I didn't know she had a Nigerian man after Scott. Child. A couple people. Have confirmed. That there was a. Nigerian man. After Scott and before play. That she was playing with. On her Instagram. They said she never put him on her YouTube channel. But she was with him. On her Instagram. And I said wow. Like everything coming together. Like it just all comes together. Like what in the world? I heard about the man before Scott. But I didn't even hear about the one after Scott. But then that does add up the numbers. Like what the girl. So you got the man before Scott. Which I don't think he was Nigerian. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We're just going to say the brown skin man before Scott. And then you got Scott, the man that people calls Caucasian. And then you have the Nigerian man from Instagram after Scott. Then you got play. And now you got Goodwin who resembles play. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. She bought him a phone and a bike like child. Chow. Um, Scott, yeah, Scott has a channel. Um, it's called Scott something, but I used to watch his mukbangs, but somebody said he hasn't posted in a long time. A lady put in my comment section. A lot of people are actually concerned about him. Um, if he's okay or whatever. They said that he hasn't posted in a long time. A lady put in the comment section that she actually did reach out to him personally to try to make sure that he's okay and he didn't respond. So I'm not sure what's going on with Scott, but yeah, he did have a, a mukbang channel. Oh, um, I don't know. I'm not sure who left who. Uh, I just know they broke up and he didn't go off and pull this, the uh, play thing. <laughs> they broke up and he didn't run off and bash her. He didn't talk bad about her. Nothing. He just really loved Q. Cra like crazy. That's all you can really break it down to is he really loved that woman because after breakup and everything and it, her just going crazy and in the beloved drama everything he never came and said nothing he never came and exposed nothing nothing so i don't know you guys i i like the scott i did like scott i thought he was really quiet and a little strange but I did like him because he was just quiet. I like a quiet man. Um, not so much like sneaky quiet, but I love a man that doesn't Jeff. I don't like a Jeffing man. I don't like a man that just talks to try to fit in, um, to try to fit in with his homeboys. I don't like a play. You get it? Like You hear me? Play. The ex that they came on here slurping and burping and moaning like her and talking about her. I don't like a man like that at all whatsoever. Like, I just don't. So, yeah, I like Scott. He was very just, you just get a very genuine vibe from him. Like, you know, he won't mess you over. 
And he actually proved it. So, you feel me? Scott said Q changed when she got famous. A lot of people said that. A lot of people said that. Yep, his channel is Scott V. But yeah, yep, I, it was Scott something. Um, I was really excited when I came across his channel. Like, um, it was a long time ago. Because, like, you miss his presence on her channel. She it was just very loud and very over the top and just, hello! And he's just so calm and cool and just... Like eyebrow raise, pretty much. Like when she would get loud and he just eyebrow raise, like, oh wow. We're going there, huh? Yep, going there. So I really did like his personality. Mm, y'all. Scott had that serial killer. <laughs> That's what I said. He like, yo. He gave you a, 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 a weird, it was just a, a vibe, but he was very, he's like a, a freaking, a skinny teddy bear. I'm trying to figure out how to describe him. Like, how do you describe him? Because he was so skinny. So he don't really, you know, like cuddly, like, oh, fuzzy bear. Oh my gosh, come cuddle me. But like a skinny little cuddle bear. Like, oh. You're so sweet. So, I don't know, y'all. Really sense the beloved thing. I kind of fell off of Q. A lot of people did. A lot of people did. Um, And then her telling her sister that she basically didn't like her. Like, oh my goodness, y'all. I just received that video. I was like, what the heck? She really, really did that child. Hmm. Told her sister that it was like hate in her heart for her. And she really didn't mind not seeing her sister again. Like, oh my God. Girl. Hmm. I'm going to just wish you nothing but the best. But I'm going to just have to say that's probably why you ended up in Nigeria marrying some man that you really don't know. Like karma is something else and karma comes from you in any shape and any form child and karma might have just came all the way from nigeria for q i i don't know you guys not wishing it was karma not wishing it was bad karma i wish the girl nothing but the best honestly because heartbreak is really hard heartbreak is yeah, it's hard as hell to get over it's hard as hell to deal with. Like, you got to deal with it before you can even attempt to get over it. So, I really just, I wish her the best. I really hope this works out for her because those apology videos be for the birds. <laughs> they be for the birds. Do you hear me? Don't nobody want to see you coming back on here glassy eyed, bald headed, talking about, well, you guys, well, you guys trying to tell me, and you know, I just have to live my life. So, sis, everybody throw them well wishes out for her, okay? Throw the happy well wishes out. Throw them up in the air. So hopefully it will go all the way to Nigeria and surround Q. And yeah, for real, that, that's all we can do is wish her the best. Because that's a mess, for real. <clears throat> Yo, smack that likeity like button on the way out, sis. I got to go before I just keep talking and keep talking because... Girl, let me get out of here, okay? I got to edit. I got a lot to do. When I'm just sitting here talking. That's why I don't be going live because it's a lot of stuff I could have got done. All right. I will talk to y'all beautiful, beautiful love bugs later. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribed. Make sure you already smack that bell notification in your notification says all not personalized. So you will be notified any and every time I decide to drop a video or whatever I decide to do, sis. All right. Make sure 
you're subscribed to my other channels, y'all. I have three channels in total, all right? If you didn't know, now you know. We have the original Queen Blama. You hear me? The original Queen Blama. This is not the original channel. This is Queen Blama said it. So type Queen Blama in the search bar and go ahead and subscribe to that channel. After you do that, type Sade and more in the search bar and subscribe to that channel. And you'll see what your girl be out here doing, okay? You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. I will talk to y'all later. I will see you on one of those channels. If I see you in the comment section, I'll be sure to say hi. Bye, loves.